Enter copper plant. Has it started production? Um, yeah, the copper rods have been produced. I told Hong Wei to hire a technician from the outside to check on the items. They're a good quality. Good to hear that. How many shifts? As of now, there are two. But I believe there will be three shifts in just a matter of time. You can't even imagine. I felt elated the second I saw the smoke freely blowing from the chimney. <laughs> Black or white smoke? Black smoke. I'm not burning marsh gas. Have a seat. I'm on the phone. What did you just say? Was it white or black smoke? It's black smoke, obviously. It's not cigarette smoke. Have you seen white smoke out of a chimney before? Tell Zheng Ming immediately that heavy oil shouldn't release black smoke, or else that'll be big trouble. Wait, wh what big trouble? Partial combustion, most likely. Tell him right away. Black smoke must be cleared even after production. I'll contact my colleague at the Jinso plant, and I'll call you back right after. No, no shall we? Hello? Mr. Ma couldn't reach you, so he called me. What is it? They're coming to the peninsula this week. Got it. All of them. All of them? Mr. Ma said, the boss has just decided. What's up, Chef? Hey! Paper, please. Yep, one second. I've kept all the papers about the Lay Village just for you. Oh. These are all of it. Here. Jeez. Don't have change? I don't have it. All right. You keep my new stand in business, you know. Thanks so much. I'll have them for you next time, too. All right, I'll go ahead. Bye. What are you doing here? Why did you just run outside again? I'm dead if your mom finds out. <sighs> Secretary Lee, we haven't seen you around here for a long time. Mm. This kiddo likes my bike. He's a pretty quiet kid. Secretary, are you free today? I'll get you some food to eat. Nah, thanks. Okay. Yang Yang, come here. Come on. Mm. Hey. Mm. Where's your boss? Mom's at the hospital. Why is she there? Is she sick? It's really nothing serious. But the doctor wants her there for a few days. It's bad enough I'm busy running the restaurant alone. Now I also have this little tyke to look after. I wanted to send him to his grandma's house, but he refused and insisted to take food to his mother. Mm. That's a good boy. He loves his mom. Hey, I'll take you to the hospital to see your mom. Want to come with me? Secretary Lei, <laughs> the thing is... Don't you trust me? Come on. I don't think I'll ever distrust a people's representative and a party member. Secretary, please wait right here. I'll go get the food. Can you take it to Sister Wei, please? Sure. Mom! Hey, Yang Yang. Where's Chuan? Oh, that's lunch now, isn't it? Uncle. Isn't he? Please come in. Are you sick? Yes. Here. What's it about? <laughs> it's a woman thing. It's nothing serious. Have a seat. Oh. <sighs> you haven't visited me for over a year. Yeah. You haven't been to Lay Village to buy goods either. Our restaurant still sells products from Lay Village. I know. Your staff is in charge of buying them. Like I said, I won't bother you ever again. You're not a bother to me. How's the restaurant doing? 
Don't you always buy newspapers from Shen? <laughs> you should know how business is doing. Yeah, well, it's a long way. <sighs> it's doing fine. Thank you for your concern. Is our fish selling well nowadays? Mm-hmm. Both the fish and meat sell well. In fact, people ask me where I get it from. The apple snails aren't that good. The ones from our river taste better. I also don't think they taste good. Don't buy them next time. Zongfu is raising bullfrogs. Once they're ready, I'll save you some. All right. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. The kid can have it. <laughs> I can help look after him for a couple of days. What did you say? I passed by your restaurant. Chuan is still a young teenager. He can't look after a kid. I'm just worried. We're not even related. Why worry about Yang Yang? Because you're sick now. I know you're worried about it. It's just a few days. I'll be out of here next Wednesday. Well, that's still days away. No need. As much as I appreciate your help, my son has a temper. He doesn't get along with people. I'll take you to Lei Village for a few days. We'll hunt fish and fowl. Sounds good? Yeah! Mm, great. He and I are good. It's settled. When you get discharged next week, he's yours. I'll send him back. Okay, then. I guess I'll leave Yang Yang to you. Yang Yang, when you get to the village, don't cause any trouble, all right? I'll be around. He's not going to cause me trouble. Come on, you're like a big kid yourself. Okay, we'll get going. Focus on getting well. like you brought a kid back from Jinjo. Here, help me carry him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're a cute kid, huh? He's Mr. Song's kid, right? Zhao Wei's kid is a girl. He's Wei Chung Hong's son. <sighs> His mother owns the county restaurant. She's sick right now. I'm helping her look after him. Chigen. Yes? What's your wife busy with? Nothing. I'll call her over to look after the kid. Sounds great. Anyway. Yes? Go and get Cheng Ming here. Okay. Tell my wife to come here as well. Sure. Yang Yang. Come, here, Come on, kid. let's go in. Come play inside. Here, have a look at our office. See what the village is like. Yang Yang. Yang Yang. Go play over there. I'll need to talk to the village chief, okay? Well, shall we talk outside? I'm not going out again. It's so hot outside. Let's talk in here. Wait. Is it okay to talk about it in front of the child? What are you thinking, chief? We're just going to talk about business. What? It's while I was in Jinzhou. I came across Yan Jun, and he's doing pretty well. Since being affiliated, he hasn't caused any trouble. He keeps proper accounts and good shipping records. Access wires that our village is producing are out being hung. In the best spot in the market, mind you. He's kept his word to me. He did a good job. That's what I think. So, you're sure about it? After only two days? What's there to be unsure of? Besides, I've checked the accounts. I understand the accounts. I can even deal with the problems of the lay village. There's no way Yan Shun can cheat on me. <sighs> Dong Bao. Dong Bao. The situation is so much different now. We've been working with him for a year. How many times has the business tax division checked his market? And every time they check, we have to come up with a bunch of lies. I mean, we can't really do that anymore. Why do you say it's a bunch of lies? He couldn't possibly register in the market as an individual. All the state departments know what it means to be affiliated. It's just a roundabout approach. Why are you so bent on calling it a lie? Did he ask you there to inspect and to treat you to a good meal and some drinks? You sure he didn't have any other intention? Is that all there is? You know what? I've always known how smart you are. You can stop with the flattery. He didn't ask me to go there just for a meal and some drinks. 
One of the State Departments wants Yan Shun to submit the Certificate of Investment for the market and he doesn't have that. So here's the thing. Since his business is affiliated with Lei Village and he pays an annual fee, it's only right we that we should- We now. No way that's happening. No certificate. Not from us. You won't be forking out the money, so why are you so worked up? Can't you let me finish what I was saying? Fine. Yang Zhong has the money ready. We're not giving him any. The money just needs to be transferred to our accounts and then withdrawn. Then he gets the certificate. It's that simple. But Lei Village will be implicated. Count me out. How is Lei Village going to be implicated by that? I don't get your point. All right, that's enough. It's settled. Just follow my lead. I suggest you start the paperwork and try to get it all done within two days. Don't bow. We just can't. Hey, kiddo. Mm -hmm. Have some water. Listen to me, Dong Bao. Lei Village is into many businesses right now. We have too much in our hands to bother with other people's businesses. Besides, Dong Bao, there has been a lot of policy changes now. If the state issues a notice saying that this affiliation is illegal, you'll be implicated. I've never stolen any money. Why would I be implicated? I believe in your character, but if something like this happens, you think the state and the villagers will believe you? If that happens, you won't be able to clear your name. I'm not changing my mind. My conscience is clear, Leishigen. I'm not scared of them. I'm not changing my mind either. I completely object against this. Keep it down. You're scaring the kid here. Here. It's okay. Play with this. Okay. You object to everything. You made that clear. Hasn't Lay Village gotten to where it is now through baby steps? You've become so ill-tempered. Let's go. We won't stoop to this guy's level. Why are you dragging the kid into this? My wife will be here in a while. We don't want to see his sour face. Secretary, looking for me? Shawei said the copper plant's chimney is giving off black smoke. Did you know? Since Mr. Song said it, there must be an issue at the copper plant. Don't play dumb with me, kid. Tell Engineer Fong to have it checked right away. Okay. I've invested so much on that. If anything happens, you'll get it from me. Okay, I'll go Secretary. right away. Secretary! <laughs> what a cute little boy you are! <laughs> okay, you're coming home with me. I'll cook you some yummy food, okay? No thanks. Oh, what's that so? Looks like he doesn't want to go with you. You may get back to work. Secretary, I can get my wife to look after the child. She studied to be a preschool teacher. Taking care of kids is her expertise. You want to go with him? No. Well, who do you want to <laughs> stay with? You. You'll stay with me? Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, glasses, I have a job for okay. you. Mom can go home tomorrow, so I'll have to send you back. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Don't you want to leave? Hmm? Can I come play again next month? Sure. You can come here whenever you want. Yan Yan, what would you like for dinner? Braised pork? <clears throat> of course. You're tired of that because of the restaurant. Let's hunt some fowl. I'll grill. You have quarry and you can't even hit a bird. As if you can do better than me. All right, I'll let you do some hunting this time. And yeah, have you hunted pheasants? What's a pheasant? <laughs> you don't know, right? I knew it. <laughs> Hey, who's the 
kid who hit my chicken! All right, we can stop now. Wow, I was so scared. Come here. I got you. It's okay. Hang on. Have you eaten bullfrogs? No. Good. All right. Secretary. Chicken's wife. Hey! You're home early. Here. Oh, that sun's made you tan. Cook these up. Oh! What are those? Don't ask. Just cook them. I don't know what these are. I don't know how to cook them. Are bullfrogs. <laughs> Wait, what? Bullfrogs. Yeah, they're bullfrogs. Bullfrogs? Aren't these Zhang Fu's babies? So he just let you have them? He's got lots of those. He just gave us some to try. Oh. Just grill them like you grill a frog. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Where's she again? He's still inside. He's been down lately. He hasn't gone to the office in days. I asked him why, but he just sighed and ignored me. All right, I'll go ask him. I'll leave those to you. Yeah, sure. Have a seat inside. Hmm. Show you. Hello, Uncle Dongbao. Hi. You doing homework? Yeah. Let me introduce you to my new friend. He's Yang Yang. Hi, Yang Yang. Mm, Yang Yang, this is Xiao Yu. Hello, Xiao there. Yu. You guys play together. No fighting. Okay. Mm. <sighs> I brought you some good food to eat. So you'll be healthy. Chief Shigen, are you down with something? Did you just give birth to a chubby baby or what? Hey, what are you doing? Come on, look at that tummy. You should look at yours. <laughs> Fine, we're just the same. Chief Shigen, huh? Am I still the village chief? I'm not the village chief, I'm just a dummy. Anybody can do my job. Glasses can do it, so let him do it. I know you're upset because of that. And that's the reason why I'm here. I want to apologize. I wouldn't dare to get upset. Not with you, at least. You're Mr. Dong Bao. Lei Village practically belongs to you. And who am I? I'm just a guy who runs errands. But you don't let me run errands now, so I'm taking a break. Here. Keys to the village office. Take them. Give them to someone who wants to do errands. I told you before, right? It has not been easy for Yan Shun. I promised to cooperate, but here you are dragging your feet and causing delay to our projects. You're afraid of the risk, so I decided to take care of it. I'll bear the risk alone. Is that enough? You've been taking risks for years and years. It makes no difference to you. Now why are you acting like a sissy? Are you a sissy? You want to be sweet-talked? Hurry, get up. Take these keys. You have a lot of work to do at the village. Why are you shouting? You're gonna scare the kids. Okay, listen to this. Don't bother to change my mind. I quit. It's beyond me. I got it. I believe I know what this is. It's no use dealing with traitors. Hey, what do you mean? Everyone in the village says you've turned your back and teamed up with Zhong Fu and Hong Wei to fight against me and bring me down. No, who, who the heck told Don't you Don't bother that? explaining. Song Fu was insisting on making a deal with me, and now you're quitting your job? Then it's true. I get it. That's what no, it is. No, I'm just so... Uh, hey, hey, hey. Really? Don't leave. I'm... I'm upset that you do things your own way without considering what we think. And also, it doesn't seem like you still need me anymore. So I thought... <laughs> Go on. Is that why you're so angry with me, huh? Come on, I was just kidding. You're a good guy. I know you're not a traitor. Both of us are brothers who grew up in this village. I've apologized, but you don't want to accept it. Is that right? Hurry up and take those keys with you. A lot of work is waiting. What? What's there for me to do? I'm considering letting you manage the wire and copper factories. Zen Ming is scared of you too. Another thing. I'm always outside on business. You need to be here and manage the village. Zhao Wei also said black smoke shouldn't be coming out of the chimney. 
back there at the copper plant. Then Ming said it's fine since he's gotten someone to check it out, but I can't help but worry about it. You must keep an eye on it. We've invested a lot on this. If anything goes wrong, a huge loss is waiting for us. We don't want that to happen. Haven't you always managed those two factories by yourself? I'm not always level-headed. I can deal with Zhang Ming using my fists, but you have to use your brain for that. I don't use my brain for that. I use Mr. Song's accounting system. That's so humble. <sighs> no matter what you choose to use, you'll easily deal with Zheng Ming. It's like handling a snail with three fingers. It's in the bag, Uncle. <laughs> Secretary, the bullfrogs are cooked. You can have a taste now. My wife is good. She's efficient and gets things done. <laughs> I'll get the onions and ginger at home real fast. Would you like some beer? Huh? No thanks. Yes. I have a weak stomach. No, okay. I'll be right back. I'll cook two more dishes Here and one go, salad. Kids. Aren't those young foods breeding frogs? Mm. You... That's good. It's your mating period. Why'd you catch them? He's got lots of bullfrogs to spare. If you're feeling weak, these frogs are good for you. Shang Fu will get back at you for this. <sighs> He's not good with words. I'm not scared. Here, eat. Here. Dong Bao! Lei Dong Bao! Oh man, he's caught you red handed. No need to yell, Mr. Shang. My bullfrogs! What bullfrogs? Come along. The secretary stole my bullfrogs. That's what? The secretary couldn't have done that. They told me he was here. Lei Dong Bao, come out here. How could he be at my place? Lei Shang Fu. Why are you shouting? My bullfrogs. What about the bullfrogs? Someone saw you in my farm, taking some of my bullfrogs. Whom did you hear that rumor from? Get him here so he can clarify. Secretary, it's the frogs' breeding season. All my bullfrogs are paired up. Taking a few of them is like eating thousands already. Who are you trying to scare? Come on, I didn't eat them. You can ask Chief Shigen yourself. He never lies, all right? Shigen, tell the truth. He didn't eat the bullfrogs. I'd like to add that I've never eaten any kind of frog in my life, I swear to God. What did you eat just now? A giant frog! How big is it? This big! Secretary, you denied it! You lied just, to you me! Should, fine, you fine. My frogs! You're scaring the kid. You. You're usually quiet. How could you betray me like that right now? Lying is bad. Secretary! I'm breeding those bullfrogs. All of those frogs are paired up. I've lost weight and sleep just guarding those frogs. I went to the toilet for a second, and my frogs ended up in your stomach. That's <laughs> enough, Zong Fu. It's no wonder my mom said you were a bullfrog in your past life, you know. <laughs> Look, you're crying in front of all these people. Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> Secretary, tell me, do you remember which pond you took the bullfrogs from? I have to know if you ate a male or a female one. <laughs> How do you tell them apart? Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, everyone, go home. You, come with me. I'm going to explain it to you. Come here. Come on, stay in here. Over here. Song Fu, on this plate are three of your bullfrogs. Go sit over there. I helped you find out how they taste when cooked. Don't let them end up like the channeled apple snails. You spent time and money on them, but you couldn't sell them because they taste awful. Who's the loser, then? I've tasted these for you. Your bullfrogs taste really good. Look at this one. It's fleshy. It's fresh and chewy. The whole village supports you. The bullfrogs you'll raise will be the village's main industry in the future. That's not a small feat. Here, try some. No. You should know what your own bullfrogs taste like. Here. Tastes good. Here, hey, don't hog the food, okay? Let you get and taste it. Just have a bite. Try it. Uh, here. No thanks, no thanks. I saw what it looked like alive. I can't eat it. Try it, try no, it. No thanks. I'm not eating that. Uh, it's like all right, it. take it outside. Dong Bao! Dong Bao! They Dong Bao! Gotcha. Stop, why would you do that? Most of the project tasks have been completed according to plan. Only the core equipment and foundation piling are still being done. That's because we haven't decided on the supplier yet. Because of that, we can't calculate maximum load capacity the equipment requires. We can deploy concrete steel anytime, but the required number of steel piles cannot be determined yet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, are these two roads the same? Huh? You planned that well. <laughs> it has four lanes and a sidewalk. Better than the National Highway. <laughs> 
It's good that we have the local government support, or else we'll have to spend the bulk of our budgets on these highways. <laughs> Zhou Song, you've worked hard on this project for months. We were sent here after they considered the heavy workload you do in here, so we can all share in the task that needs to be done. <laughs> Thank the bosses for me. But I'm young and I got this. <laughs> Would you like to take a look at the pier? Construction's more complicated there. I have to explain them one by one. Chao Song, that's enough work for today. Let's go to the office. The area is pretty good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here. Look at Mr. that. Mr. Ma, good to see you. Look at that, Chao Song. You've really looked out for me. Looks like you gave me the best office, huh? <laughs> it's better than yours. Have a seat. Let's talk. Chao Song, I've looked around the place. The road repair and foundation piling are both going smoothly. Yes. I gotta say, you've done a good job in laying the foundation. It's my job. In the previous stage, you had to handle everything by yourself. But now that our team is here, we can divide the workload. Hmm. I'll be mainly in charge of supervision and equipment introduction. Han will be the one in charge of civil construction and piling of the machinery site, control room and warehouse, and the road repair as well. Now Gao will be the one in charge of logistic support. Liu will be in charge of overall finance. Let him handle accounting matters, because that's what he's good at. Song. They say the quality of water here isn't good, yeah? But this tastes okay. It's not that bad. What's my role gonna be? Chao Song. I remember you submitted a proposal in April about the merging and reinforcement of the piers. The bosses are all praises, so specifically you'll be in charge of the pier construction. But pier construction requires expertise. I'm not a shipping professional. I'm underqualified. Xiao Song, you're too humble. Your proposal was well written. When two berths of 300,000 to 500,000 tons are reinforced, the load capacity will be increased. The entire Donghai will benefit from the reinforcement project in the future. The bosses think so highly of it. They want it done by the end of this year. At that time, Ministry leaders will bring people here to inspect. Ma, you can stop beating around the bush now. I wish you'd just tell me frankly. Do the ministry leaders not like my work? The leaders do not try to undermine your previous efforts. The problem lies in your report on the import of equipment. Looking back, I should not have let you submit the report to the ministry directly. What's wrong with the report? I told you before that the Ministry prefers to work with Japanese companies. In your report, you detailed how U.S. equipment are better in quality and function than their Japanese counterparts. Someone was offended. He thinks that you're openly challenging him. Is it the Director General? He decided, despite my solid proposal, to import Japanese equipment, all because he didn't like the report that I made. Why did he transfer me? Is it because I didn't go to Pincheng like he wanted? Don't overthink it. Transferring you to the pier was my decision. You see, for other people, this might be a bad thing. But for you, Song Yunwei, this might actually be a good thing. How is that? Think about it. Aren't you the youngest in the team? During the fourth deputy director ranking, you got the last place. 
Plus, you've offended a ministry leader. You have a very small chance of getting promoted. If you work together with us, your contributions, your abilities, will not have their chance to shine at all. But if the peer project is all yours, the project that the higher-ups think so highly of, the stage is all yours. As long as you do a very good job, the leaders will surely see that. I can ask the higher-ups to give you proper merit by then. <laughs> Ma, I never really thought of it like that before. You know, you think too little for yourself, and you work too hard. Don't worry. I'm okay with the new role. Xiao Song, thank you for understanding. Thank you on behalf of Donghai. Ma, do we have the same idea about importing equipment? Now I'm asking you to please convince the ministry to prioritize the American mainframe. Okay. Yes, I promise. I'll stick to the proposal. I will make a decision based on Donghai's standpoint. I have a list right here. It's a list of equipment with some options and supplements. Okay. Give Han a copy of this too. He knows about equipment. Let's work together on this major concern. Xiao Song. If there is anything else bothering you, don't hesitate to tell me. I'll help you deal with it using everything in my power. I don't have complaints or demands. But I believe you'd understand if my team of technicians might not readily accept this, this new arrangement. I hope that you and the other leaders can treat everyone equally. Be kind to those who have given so much to Donghai since its earliest stage. Don't worry, you have my word on that matter. I will talk to Han and Gao before the others and give priority to those people. Mr. Ma, I'm thanking you on their behalf. If I have to work at the pier so Donghai acquires better equipment, so be it. Mr. Song. Sort out the progress status of all the projects. Notify representatives of all departments, infrastructure, installation, road construction, and design. We'll have a meeting at 3 p.m. All those departments? We have no time. What's the meeting about, sir? About handover. There'll be a handover? To whom? The Beijing project team. The leaders in charge of the various departments are here. Starting today, they'll be your new superiors. Please work well with them and try to leave a good impression, okay? I'll leave you now. Guys, sort out the data. Let's get ready.
Come in. Xiao Song. Kao, it's you. We have to talk about a situation. What is it? Tell me. <laughs> Listen, we came here in a hurry. The office isn't fully equipped. It's okay for the others, but not for Mr. Ma. He needs a fax machine at least. I've already asked the ministry. We will have it. But there's a two-week wait. Would it be all right if you let Mr. Ma use yours? Uh, when the new ones arrive, you will get those. Uh, that's not a big deal at all. He can use this one. <laughs> okay. Hurry. Oh my, Xiao Song. That's generous. If everyone's like you, our work will definitely be easier. <laughs> this fax machine jams a bit. Better have someone watch it while it prints. Noted, Mr. Song. I will see to it. Hurry. Bye-bye. I have something to discuss with you. What is it? The installation guy didn't come over today. Who do I look for to resolve this matter? Fang Ping. He's in charge of scheduling all installations. Okay, got it. <laughs> Han, just say what's on your mind. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, if your people fail to do as they say, I won't show them any mercy. You think I've been forming my own team for the past few months that I've been in the peninsula? Those people in the peninsula used to work for you. Technically, they were your team. We're fixing a wasteland. I couldn't do it without my own people. I know that. I wasn't implying anything. You are a man for others. You took on the Donghai Project alone. I'm really impressed. Don't forget this piece of advice. You will offend people if you keep a high profile. You're a straightforward person. Make yourself clear. You're still too young. You care about moving forward. You've offended people. You'd have been fine if you just did the specific work assigned to you in Donghai and nothing else. I didn't hand over my duties just to keep a low profile. It wasn't easy for Donghai to achieve this. I don't want personnel issues to weigh Donghai down. I'm telling you all this right now because I see you as an upright professional. I appreciate it. Listen to my advice, Song. Try not to cause any more trouble. What's this? A former classmate. It's a foreign trade agent. That's a list of equipment he recommended. You're still helping this former classmate? I just told you you've offended people, and yet you have no plans of stopping this. You've stayed in Beijing for the past few months. You should know about the current domestic and foreign affairs. Imported equipment is only limited to COCOM companies. This might affect our operations. And none of these companies have restrictions? None at present. You're Tonghai's technical director now. I'd like you to keep that list as an additional reference. I also gave Ma a copy of that list.
Hey, kid. Next time you visit the village, watch Uncle Dong Bao carefully. Don't let him steal food, okay? <laughs> Come on, that wasn't very convincing. You ate bullfrogs, too. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to Brother Yang Yang. Bye, Yang Yang. Bye. <laughs> Okay, come on. I'm lifting you up now. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Uh, now Here, Yang Yang, take this. Hold on to it's it. It's a new pencil case. There you go. <laughs> right, Hold on thanks. tight. <laughs> All right. Hold on to it. Going. Take care, Secretary. Let's go home. <laughs>